Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Well, Chris McGee, managing partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, has joined us for our segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Welcome back to the good show. Morning. So, Chris, uh, today we are talking a little bit about television. It's supposed to be entertaining. I hope this show is entertaining for everybody. Informative <laughs> and fun. And last week you uh, met each criterion as you discussed what investors uh, may learn from TV game shows. And I know there's more you'd like to talk about, so please, the board is yours. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dane. Um, it premiered 50 years ago in 1973 with a top prize of $10,000. It's gone through numerous reboots and today the top prize is $100,000. <laughs> I'm of course referring to the game show the $100,000 Pyramid. Okay, you know, 1973, the good old days. <laughs> well, perhaps it's interesting to compare the state of the economy between then and now. Mm -hmm. 1973 was the beginning of a major recession which lasted two years and put an end to the long post-World War II economic expansion. The U.S. was still engulfed with the Vietnam War, which contributed to large federal deficits. Then the Yom Kippur War broke out in Israel, which led to an oil embargo creating a worldwide energy crisis, tripling the cost of gasoline almost overnight and sending inflation skyrocketing along with unemployment and creating conditions referred to as stagflation. China was by no means a global economic power but did provide military support to North Vietnam or Vietnamese and Russia helped resupply its Arab allies. Mm -hmm. And you know today many of the same dynamics are in play while you know a whole bunch of new ones have materialized. Yes, more recently a long period of economic expansion was brought to a halt by the shock of a global pandemic. Mm -hmm. Supply chain disruptions and a war in Ukraine created higher inflation and in energy prices and of course another unexpected war in Israel has broken out but the US economy has proven to be very resilient and so far we have avoided recession inflation appears to be slowing and we can be grateful for a strong labor market with low unemployment China has become the world's number two economic and military superpower presenting a multitude of contentious issues for the U.S. to deal with. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, what's important to keep in mind is that, you know, we've gotten past challenge, challenging economic times before and will most likely do so again. That's exactly the point. As deep as the 1973-75 recession was, by the end of the first quarter of 1996, the economy exceeded its pre-recessionary levels lessons were learned and changes were made and rather than trying to predict if we're going into going to experience a recession a hard landing soft landing or no landing I think what's important to keep in mind is that the strength of our economy many of which weren't even on the drawing board 50 years ago for instance information technology which drives innovation and profoundly impacts commerce and communications sustainable energy and resource management promising a cleaner and climate friendly future globalization will continue to evolve facilitating efficient flow of goods services and capital across borders and I never bet against American ingenuity, human capital, and our unbridled spirit to overcome challenges and obstacles. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris, you know, if this was a game show, I'd bet, my, I'd bet right alongside yours. <laughs> and before we go, any final thoughts you'd like to share with our viewers? The $100,000 pyramid reminds me of something else that is aspirational for everyone, and not just game show contestants. <laughs> I'm referring to the psychologist Abram Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which is often depicted in the form of a pyramid. Investment and wealth management planning is often focused 
on the first two tiers of the pyramid, securing basic essential psychological needs such as food, shelter, and clothing. Next, people seek safety, which encompasses health care, personal, emotional, and financial security. After those needs are fulfilled, people need social connection and a sense of belonging and love, followed by self-respect and respect for others, intellectual curiosity, and ultimately reaching full self-actualization, utilizing and developing their talents and abilities to be the best person, parent, friend or member of a community that they can be. Wow, couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Chris, now that's a pyramid we can all relate to. <laughs> and, you know, thank you for sharing well, this with us. We always appreciate your time. Of course, everybody, to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.